Assalamualaikum and good day everyone So today we go to chapter 3 Momentum and Impulse Okay so first I will explain what is momentum first Momentum uh, We can call it as linear momentum Okay the symbol is P It's defined as the product of mass and its velocity So mathematically we can write it as P is equal to MV Momentum is vector quantity, so it must have magnitude and also direction. Magnitude and also direction. Direction of momentum is same as the direction of velocity, and the unit is kilogram meter per second. Since the momentum is a vector quantity, it must have direction and can be resolved into x and y component. So for theta respect to x component so we have px is equal to p cos theta p is equal to mv py is p sin theta p is equal to mv so second we have impulse impulse is the change of momentum so j j equal to delta p where the change of momentum impulse and momentum has the same unit Impulse is defined as the product of the average force and the time interval Okay, during the force time So, J is equal to F average darab dengan delta T Okay, sama juga dengan delta P Where delta P is M V minus U The change mass darab dengan change in velocity Impulse in the quantity, same direction as the average force The unit is newton second or kilogram meter per second Same as the unit momentum When the two objects in collision, the impulsive force between the graph is given F versus T graph is given by the bigger uh, This is for the constant force okay, And this one is the force not constant It will be graph like this from the above graph, force acting on the particle may vary with time. The force impact the particle is the area on the graph F. So, ini adalah area on the graph ni kita namakan dia sebagai impulse. Ini pun juga adalah impulse. This one is for the force not constant. This one is for constant force. Okay. Okay, we go to impulse momentum theorem. Okay, for the impulse momentum theorem, we have when a net force at an object during time interval delta t, the impulse of this force is equal to the change in momentum of the object. So, we have J equal to F average over delta t sama juga dengan delta t. Delta P ni sama dengan MV minus U Where U is velocity before impact And V is velocity after impact Alright, so we go to uh, solving equation For exercise number 1 So the question asks what is momentum So we use the very basic formula P is equal to MV M is 750 V is 10 so we have the linear momentum is 7500 kilogram meter per second. Don't forget to put the uh, units. Okay, number two. The scatter of mass at t kilogram initially at rest. So u zero. Final speed is v along the straight line and towards east direction. Find the momentum y at rest. So p and u. M is 80 but U is 0 so the momentum is 0 lah ok find the momentum while travelling with final speed final speed is 10 so P equal to MV P mass is 80 V is 10 so P is 100 kilogram meter per second find the change of momentum so delta P P final tolak dengan P initial so delta P 800 minus 0 so delta P is 800 kilogram meter per second so then number 3 the system is made out of two object moving along a straight line one object of mass 1.5 kilogram moves to the right 
the speed of 10 meter per second ok so kita kena lukis mass is 1.5 kilogram U is 10 meter per second the other object 2 kilogram moves to the left ok so kat sini mass is 2 kilogram U 12 but don't forget to put the negative because the direction is to the leftward direction so determine the total momentum so kita cari dulu U1 M1 U1 1.5 times so P1 equal to 15 meter per second so we have P2 M2 U2 so P2 negative 12 so P2 equal to negative 24 kilogram meter per second so the P total P1 plus P2 so P total 15 plus negative 24 so we have negative 9 kilogram meter per second ok number 4 2 objects A and B moving X1 plane mass A ok mass A 1.5 kilogram mass P 2 kilogram determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant of momentum of the two object ok so kita dapatkan dulu V ok Vx so 3 cos 30 3 cos 30 we have 2 times 5 minus 8 meter per second Vx and then kita cari pula Vy 3 sin 30 so we got 1.5 meter per second ok so here is Vx but only for object B 5 meter per second ok then we find for object A first we find momentum for object A momentum for object A we have uh, PAX ok PAX ok ataupun kita lukis lah kita buat macam ni lukiskan ok ada dua lah so kat sini PA PB X component Y component ok so for P A X P equal to M V P equal to M V ok mass is 1.5 V A X ok 2.8 so P jadinya 3.897 per second P A Y P equal to M V M mass is 1.5 V is uh, 1.5 so P equal to 2.25 ok kilogram meter per second P, B, we have P equal to M, V. Tapi P dah kat sini. Mass is 2. V is 5. So, kita ada 10. P, P, Y equal to 0. Ok. So, then kita lagi. And for total. So, we have we have kat sini 3.897 plus 10 2.25 plus 0 ok so kita ada 13.897 tu per second and this one is 2.25 kilogram per second so to find the P resultant we have P x square plus dengan 
y square square root so p resultant x 97 square to 5 square square root so p resultant foto foto kan zero eight kita kan kita buat second okay so to find the direction we have the tangent we have the tangent theta y over 2x 2.25 over 13.89 7 so tangent theta equal to that to kira Construct the horizontal with speed. Okay, why it bounces off with speed with opposite direction? Calculate the magnitude. Okay, so u is hundred per second. Bila bounce off. Okay, ni wall u hundred bounce off macam ni. So v negative seventy. Okay, so find the magnitude of impulse. So, J equal to delta P. So, J equal to M V minus U. J 0 0.02. V negative 70. So, J or the impulse is negative 34 newton second. For P, if the ball is in contact with the ball for 10 millisecond, determine the magnitude of the average force. So, F average equal to J over P. J kita tahu sama dengan delta P over T. Delta P ni ada negative 34. Sama macam impulse tadi. T is 10 times 10 power of negative 3. So, F average equal to negative 34. Oh, oh, gitu. Okay. So, uh, kalau kita tak nampak negative tak apa. Kita just dapatkan dia punya magnitude. Okay, number 6. A force of 500 like this is applied to 1,200 kilogram truck for 5 seconds. What is the change in velocity of the truck? So, F average equal to J over T. Delta P over delta P over T. Delta P kita tahu. V minus U over T. So, 500. Okay. 1,200. The change of velocity delta v t is five. Okay, so your delta v is two point zero eight three meter per second. Alright, so number seven, the tennis ball. Okay, speed. Tennis ball zero point zero six zero kilogram. Speed twenty eight meter per second. Strike the ball for forty five degrees. And rebounds at the same speed. Okay, calculate the impulse given by the ball. Impulse given by the ball. So, kita tahu impulse ni juga adalah apa? Impulse ni, J ni juga sama dengan delta P. So, the change of momentum. So, we find the initial first. Okay, kalau kita nak calculate, kita boleh calculate macam ni juga. So, this is what it can do. Okay. So, P initial. So, P initial. Kosong, kosong, kosong. Okay. So, ni, ni kita ada 28 kan. Okay. 28 meter per second. So, 28 cos 45 degrees. So, 1.879 kilogram meter per second ok 
Okay, this one is for initial. For final, P final, and V final. Okay, for final. So, kita ada. Uh, kat sini adalah kita punya 28. So, ini adalah P sin 45. P pada B. P sin 45. So, P final. 060 V adalah 28 sin 45 daripada ini. So, P final akan jadi 879 kilogram per second. So, kita nak cari impulse given by the ball. So, dia copy P final ok, tolak dengan initial P final dengan initial so data P equal to negative 2.4 kilogram meter per second ok you have to resolve into x and y component ok so sekarang kita nak pula uh, F T graph applied force against P find the impulse between 0 to 10 second 0 to 10 second so j equal to ft ok this is the area under graph ok so kita kira lah area under graph ni ok so this is the trapezium graph or you can uh, kira kan macam biasa area under ft graph so kat sini yang pertama ni awak ada 20 20 area kuadrat dengan 24 plus area dan 20 bagi 2 so dapat area yang dekat kilogram meter per second ok This one is for uh, impulse delivered to the ball. Okay. So, sekali lagi, kita nak estimated first time curve for tennis ball, 16 gram. As shown in figure. So, kita ada area on the graph juga. Ini. Okay, area on the graph is your impulse. Okay. So, kita kirakan area on the graph. Okay, boleh kirakan macam biasa. Uh, area on the graph. Area under graph ok so kat sini tadi kita kirakan 0.8 18 kilo net kilo 18 net kilo newton ok net sini silap don't forget the unit so 18 times 10 power of negative 3 ni nak millisecond tak dengan oh silap silap yang kat sini 8 ok 8 ni kat sini 8 ok 18 power of 3 over 2 plus dengan ini is 0.8 3 3 3 3 3 Okay, the speed of the ball after being struck is mean the ball is served, so it is nearly at the rest initially. So u equal to zero, so j equal to delta p, and p minus u. 14.4. The mass is 60 times 10 power of negative 3. You have to find v, so your v 240 meter per second. Right, so seterusnya Hall Okay Hall and Nick push Pills broken uh, down card 
the road they push with force then they reduce their force gradually to uh, 5 newton at time t 5 second ok so kita lukis senang ok senang kita lukis lah so nak cari ini f kat sini t mula-mula dikata 1000 ok mula at t0 dia pun dia reduce dia reduce dia pun gradually ok so reduce kat sini 500 pada masa 5 second second lah newton then continue to push with constant force ok constant force for another 5 second ok so kat sini 10 lah ok kita ke start from the spot is the final velocity ok so kita tahu ini adalah yang awak boleh cari area under graph ok tapi soalan sekarang ni dia nak cari apa final velocity so kita tahu j equal to ft sama dengan delta p so j sama dengan delta p kan p minus u so sebelum tu kita kena cari j dulu macam mana nak cari j you all kena cari kan area under graph ok so kita cari area under graph kat sini find area under graph ok so kita dah cari dah so kita dapat kat sini 6250 newton second so tunjuk calculation eh show calculation ah, saya tak tunjuk lah saya tunjuk kan 6250 equal to 1500 b minus 0 so b 4167 meter per second ok so that's all ni tak berapa lah ok Bye. Terima kasih.